So today I'll be going over some stocks on the Robinhood app that I think might be pretty good for beginners. But uh, other than that, uh, getting right into the video, uh, you know, there are some stocks that I think actually are pretty solid beginner stocks, like some stocks out there, um, like Facebook, let's say, or Apple, you know, is pretty good, decent beginner stock, or maybe even some stocks like um, like uh, Amazon or Google. But uh, one problem with those stocks is that, um, as you can see over here, they are very high in price. And uh, a lot of beginners, when they start with investing, I think uh, one thing is that they probably don't have a whole lot of money. So I um, might want to aim for stocks that are maybe perhaps a little bit cheaper. But anyways, guys, the first stock and actually the first stock in my portfolio right here that I always think is a really solid stock for beginners is Microsoft. And Microsoft, it is probably one of the more expensive ones on this list in terms of like actual price. It's over $100. And I'm sure some of you guys out there, if you're a beginner, you might, you know, not even have $100 in your portfolio, which is totally okay. But um, Microsoft is one of those strong growth tech stocks that is also sort of almost a blue chip stock now. Um, $800 billion market cap, huge, huge company. 50 PE ratio is a little bit high, which is okay in my opinion. Dividend yield of 1.7, which is also pretty decent as well. And um, I do think that this is a stock that has room to increase their dividend yield. Um, they have uh, you know, a decent PE ratio, but I do think they definitely have quite a bit of long-term growth potential. And they're just a pretty solid company overall that is very diversified in their revenue streams. Um, they make a whole lot of revenue from all these different streams as well. Um, Subscription-based from cloud to AI to just simple product sales, things like that. So Microsoft, in my opinion, a very well-rounded company and a stock that probably be pretty good for beginner investors. <clears throat> Moving on to the next stock that I like for beginner investors is Nike. And Nike just actually had a pretty killer earnings report. They were up quite a bit over the past um, few weeks or so. If we look at the, um, this little jump right here, they had a very nice earnings report. I believe it was right here. And um, Nike is a stock that I, once again, own in my portfolio, and they have been doing pretty well. And Nike, similar to Netflix, or excuse me, similar to Microsoft, I don't know where Netflix came from, um, not super high priced, only $77 right now, so it could fit nicely into a portfolio like that. And if we scroll down some of their statistics over here, um, a little bit higher PE ratio, pretty large company, $121 billion market cap, pretty nice dividend yield on them as well. And in my opinion, overall, a pretty solid company. But anyways, moving on to the next stock that I can think is um, pretty solid for beginner investors is this one right here, ticker symbol T and AT&T. And AT&T has, I think, the highest dividend yield on this portfolio, or out of this, I guess you can call it a portfolio, are these stocks I'm listening. And uh, their yield is actually a little bit higher than this. It's more closer to the 6% range, but they have a very, very low PE ratio. And AT&T stock is just a stock that you're going to own. It's not going to grow very much, but with that 6% dividend yield every single year, that does make up for that low growth. And uh, AT&T only $30 right now, you know, right around that $30 range. I think that is actually a great price for them. And as you can see, comparing it, you know, to stocks before like uh, Nike and Microsoft, not very high growth at all. Only 16% in the past five years, which is honestly pretty poor. But considering that dividend yield, that does help it out a little bit. But anyways, moving on to some other stocks. And by here, I'm just going to scroll through my portfolio to show some of them as well. Another one that I think is pretty solid for beginner investors is Coca-Cola. And this is just a pretty solid blue chip dividend yield stock. And if we scroll down to some of its statistics, if they load, for some reason, my round app is being really low right now on the web version. 3.23 um, dividend yield, very, very nice yield. A little bit high of a PE ratio right now. Very, very large company, almost $200 billion market cap. And once again, similar to AT&T, a uh, stock that hasn't had a lot of major growth. As you look here, only 36% over the past five years or so. But once again, with that dividend yield, it can definitely make up for a pretty solid return. And uh, if you know, not that this really might not matter to you or not, but it is Warren Buffett's one of his most favorite stocks. And once again, at $46 right now, I think it would fit pretty nicely into a beginner's portfolio. Moving on to the next stock that I think could fit pretty solid is this one right here, Pfizer, um, ticker symbol PFE. Uh, this might not be a company you've heard of, they're a healthcare stock, but I would consider them a blue chip stock still. 
Um, very nice dividend yield on them, well over 3% there. Very low PE ratio, around 11. $225 billion company, very large company. And this is a biopharmaceutical healthcare company that is not like risky by any means. A lot of people, when they hear biopharms or um, just healthcare companies, uh, they think that they might be risky or something like that. But this one definitely is not. They have plenty of drugs on the market that are very profitable, bringing in quite a bit of revenue for them. And um, on top of that dividend yield, as well as a little growth from them here, I also think they can fit very, very nicely into portfolio. And under $40 right now, um, this should hopefully be able to fit into any portfolio. But anyways, moving on to some more stocks, I'm just going to go over to my portfolio here and scroll down the list to show you guys that I own them as well. If we scroll down a little bit here, um, let's see where they are in the portfolio. Um, there it is right here. Um, a next stock is Starbucks and Starbucks around $50 right now. If we scroll down a little bit, um, Starbucks recently got hit kind of hard, but um, they're back up from that. They have a nice little dividend yield, 1.86. Good PE ratio at 16. Pretty large company, 71 billion. And uh, Starbucks is going through some bumps recently with some um, kind of like media scandals, things like that. Um, they lost their CEO and CFO, which is, you know, a pretty good um, reason for investors to be worried. But I think this price dip um, left up a pretty good buying point for them, especially if you're looking to get into the stock market. Now, Starbucks could definitely be a stock you might want to look at. A stock that's very profitable, still makes a whole lot of money, still does very, very well. But anyways, moving on to some more stocks. I think I only got one or two more in my, that I'm going to want to show you guys. Um, the next one is this one right here, which is O Reality Income. And this stock's a little bit different from the other stocks um, because it is an REIT, but it is also a monthly dividend stock. So all the other stocks I showed you only had um, quarterly dividends, and this one gives its dividend out every single month. And I believe it's actually closer to 5% um, than this one right here. But anyways, um, pretty large company, uh, pretty decent PE ratio. And this company has been giving out their dividend for quite some time, and they have been increasing it as well. So um, a lot of REITs out, REITs out there have monthly dividends, and um, they're very, very high dividends, but they're not very consistent with paying them out, and they're probably not going to continue to do so. But um, Reality Income is one that I definitely think um, has the possibility of keeping on giving out that dividend at a higher rate. And having a monthly dividend is just super nice to have in any portfolio, having a couple monthly dividend stocks. Um, just simply because if you're down the month on just terms of capital gains, things like that, um, those dividends that are coming in every single month can definitely help a lot. And the last stock, which technically isn't even a stock that I'll be talking about that can fit very, very nicely into a beginner portfolio is this Investco SP500 high dividend, low volatility ETF. So this one, obviously, as the name says, is an ETF and not a stock. But I always think um, it's important in my portfolio to try to hold a pretty decent percentage as ETFs. And anyways, I have three shares of them, as you can see right here. And if we scroll down, they have a very nice yield. And right here, a little above 4%. Good PE ratio, you know, pretty solid stats overall. And this, once again, has a monthly dividend yield. So it is kind of hard to find a fund that has a monthly dividend yield and that also offers up some pretty decent growth. So this is probably one of my favorite ETFs out there. But anyways, guys, that is it for this video. Those are some stocks that I think would fit pretty solidly into a beginner investor's portfolio. Um, let me know in the comment section below if there's any that you guys can think of or if there are any that, um, that I didn't mention in this video that you maybe own yourself as a beginner investor or anything like that. But other than that, guys, if you're new to the channel, um, I talk about investing and the stock market, things like that. So if you're interested in anything like that, definitely consider subscribing. But other than that, guys, thanks for watching.